Alrighty, so this is a quick mini review of A Quiet Place Part 2. I'm going to try and make this as short as I can. Um, short review, I loved it. Um, I know this review is a little, a couple days late. Actually, probably a whole week late. I apologize, but I did see it uh, opening weekend. I don't know if I, I, can't, I don't remember if I saw it Thursday, but I'm pretty sure I saw it Friday. Anyways, I saw it opening weekend. I loved it. Um, definitely worth the wait. Uh, a damn near perfect sequel. I, uh, I had very few issues with it, if any. Actually, I did have one issue with it, and I'll talk about that at the end because it is a spoiler. So, without getting into spoilers, because I want this to be as spoiler-free as it possibly can be, um... I, I I love if you it's like if you like the first one you're definitely gonna like the second one with this um, and if you haven't seen the first one in a while it definitely is a good idea to rewatch it as a refresher before going in to this one because this picks up immediately where the last one left off um, to the point where the people that I saw it with they were at the, at the end of the movie they were asking me some questions and I'm just like do you not remember the first one like if you remember the first one all those questions are answered but um yeah aside from the intro which I guess it wouldn't be me if I didn't bring up Evil Dead in some form or fashion but it reminds me of Evil Dead in the sense that Evil Dead 2 despite what many people think is a direct sequel to Evil Dead 1 if you cut out the beginning of the film, which is the watered-down recap of the events of the first film, it flows perfectly. So, with A Quiet Place Part 2, if you cut out the intro, which is not a recap of the first film's events, but is a flashback sequence of the day the shit hit the fan, the day that the uh, creatures showed up and started terrorizing everybody, um, and it establishes connections between uh, the family and another character that shows up. So if you cut out that intro, literally it picks up immediately where the first one left off. Like, the scene after Emily Blunt cocks the shotgun picks up right after that. And everything about this movie was great in terms of taking everything that you know and love about the first film and dialing it up and making it bigger and better and bolder. Um, the the tension is even higher than the first one. If you think about the moment things take a bad turn in the first film and how the tension kind of just keeps going and going and going, it's like that from the start of the film to the end of the film. Like, you... There are little, small little gaps where you get a chance to breathe, but... It's evenly spaced out and there aren't many because the tension just keeps going and going and going because, you know, the movie, you, you're already in a tense mindset because of, you know, what happened in the first film. And then they give you the, the intro of the day things happen. And if you keep it in the back in your mind, what happened in the first film, it's like, okay, this is immediately where the last film left off. It's like, what are they going to do? Where are they going to go from here? And so you're on this journey with them. And it's just nerve-wracking tension. And similar to the first movie where there are um, things that you get glimpses of that are set up that have a payoff later. Um, same thing in this one. You'll, you'll see like an object that the camera will kind of focus on or there'll be something in conversation and you'll be like, okay, that's that's a plot device, that's a setup for something later. And sure enough, it is. And it's just, it's just bam, 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 bam in terms of one thing after the next with the tension building. And it's it's great. Everything about the movie was great. The cast was great. The cinematography was great. Obviously, the directing was great. Um, the sound, which is obviously 
sound is always a huge factor in movies especially horror movies but in a franchise like a quiet place sound is like the number one thing and of course it is as great if not better than it was in the original the use of sound um in terms of going in and out with being able to connect with the daughter in terms of uh being hearing impaired and in terms of uh using music and sound effects to perfectly accompany the tension that's being built and to get the audience with a good scare it's amazing and the stuff that happens in this movie man it's crazy and i do i do think there will be a third one i know when the first one was made there was originally no intention of there being a sequel even though it ended in a way where you could be like oh i could see them doing more with this which as we know now here we are but then doing more with it um because this is labeled as part two I had a feeling I'm like, we're going to at least probably get a part three. And without spoiling anything, it definitely ends in a way where I could see there being a part three. I, there was, again, without giving anything away, the way it ends leads to going, ah, I know where they're going to go with this. But other than the main thing that happens at the end of the movie, I don't know where else they could go with this for a third film. So I'm interested in seeing what they decide to do with these characters in this world and how they're going to stretch things out for a whole nother movie given where they end up at the end of this film and that's another thing i want to address is the pacing of this movie is so good that when it ends you're left like wait that's it and not not in a bad way, but it's just like you're like the movie's over already. Like it moves by really fast. Not so fast that you can't keep up and comprehend what's going on, but it's like because of and I feel like I should we should make a drinking game out of this, like take a shot every time I use the word tension, but because of the tension that's constantly going on in the movie and this the very small breaks that you get to breathe. It's like when you get to the end of the movie, you're like, oh, shit, it's over. And you, you, you're like, I want it more. Like, that's it. So I thought they did a really good job with it. Now, the only <laughs> the only issue I have with this movie, and this is a spoiler alert. So if you don't want any spoilers whatsoever, leave now. If you're still here. That's on you. Because I'm going to mention a spoiler right now. In three, two, one. One. Why the fuck did they have to kill off the only black people in this movie? Like, really? Like, like I know there's probably, like, a few black people that are, like, sprinkled throughout the background in some scenes. Um, like, I have no problem with the fact that it's a predominantly white movie. I mean, I there's a ton of white movies and TV shows and games and books that I like. But... It's just, the trope is so overdone in horror movies now. It's like, like the cop in the, at the beginning of the movie dies. So you're like, okay, that's like the only black person you've seen in this universe. And then, okay, that's not true. There were other black people that you saw in that intro as well. But in terms of having major focus, and having someone of the spotlight on, it's like, okay. Actually, no, even the other. There's a. So, without. I mean, I already said I'm, I'm talking spoilers. There's a scene in the intro flashback sequence where there's. I don't know if it's a brother and a sister. No pun intended, because, you know, black people be like, yo, brother, yo, sister. But I don't know if they're like brother and sister or if they're a couple, but there's a black guy and a black girl that tried to she, the girl tried to call her mom i think and then she couldn't get her on the phone and then there's a scene where everyone in the, in the i think a diner are trying to be super quiet and then all of a sudden the girl's phone goes off and then you 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 know that the creature is going to come in now i don't recall if the creature went directly after them but 
if you've seen the first movie, it's pretty much implied anything that is a source of sound the creature goes after. So it's like, you can pretty much draw a conclusion that they didn't make it. So it's like, we're going to just say that they didn't make it. We know the cop in the intro didn't make it. And then you don't get an actor like, I don't want to pronounce his name wrong. It's like Donovan or Dominan Henshu. I know I'm pronouncing his name wrong and I feel like an ass because he's a great actor and I've loved him and everything I've seen him in. But you see him in movies like Blood Diamond. He was in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. He's He's been in a bunch of stuff. Great actor. But it's like you don't get an actor like him and give him the little screen time that he had in the movie just to kill him, to kill him off. I'm like, come on now. And then... The way he got killed off was so dumb. I mean, he was all like, how is it that you understand what these creatures are, how they act? You find out about their weakness. You go to a spot to help these characters amplify the weapon that they have to hurt these creatures. And right as you get to the door, you go, I should get back to my family. I have to go. And then you get killed off. Like, if you would have just stuck with the dude, the people and finished the job of helping them, you wouldn't have had to worry about going back to your family and you wouldn't have been dead. I mean, like, granted, like, the movie would have been over if they just did that, but it's just like, it was just annoying. You know what I mean? Like... I'm not asking for Hollywood to be woke. I'm just asking to do better and not keep doing the same stupid stuff with people of different, you know, ethnic backgrounds and races and whatever verbiage you want to use to identify a person's existence and identity. Like, there's just so many, like, it's, it's 2021 as of now so it's like we, we we can we can do better in storytelling so it's just it was just annoying to see but other than that I love the movie it was great go see it